the finalization of the Dragon's level uh, missions. Level 70, Dragon Sound. Yeah, Dragon Song, Dragon Sound. Anyway, alright, let's do this. Ah, Kimiko, nice to see you again. Pray forgive me, I have not made any progress in externing the reason for, for Ram's rage. It is truly pathetic. I have been alive far, far longer than you, and yet you have nothing to show for it. Surely you did not think me younger than you. I may be small, but you should know that we Dvorians live far longer than any man. Wait, we do live an awfully long time, Kimiko. I think I may have got it. Dvorians live for eons. I have heard tales from Gelimberthia of dragons going into seclusion for centuries while carrying grief in their hearts. Ultimately, they are unable to bear the strain and it breaks something fundamental within them. Many a year will need to pass before I come of age to choose a concert, but I believe uh, they help in saving oneself from the abyss of isolation. This is why your kind of X to marry, is it not? We marry for love. We marry to save our race from extinction. I have no idea why anyone marries. <laughs> I bet that's what my friend chose. <laughs> I mean, this would be the ideal thing, but nowadays it's like, it's terrible. It's freaking terrible out there. Your heart can get destroyed. I have no idea. I'll choose. Truly, I had considered you more worldly than that, but it seems I have... I was wrong. Regardless, I am almost certain that uh, Ferrum's fury was caused by the profound loneliness she was enduring over the past millennium. Leaving Father's side after the, they spent so long together must have caused her intense anguish. The question is, how do we heal her pain? I see you two survived your talk with the dragon. Was it as fruitful a, a discussion as you had hoped for? Not that it mean matters much. A group of Austrian merchants have pooled their resources to hire a hunter aid to be quite handy with a lance. I may doubt he's capable of slaying the worm, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to watch him try. I wonder who the Dragon Slayer is in questions could be. I struggle to imagine there be any man with the skill to go toe to toe with the dragon like Forum. However, if he truly is a threat, then we cannot risk him reaching her before we, us. We may not have a plan, but we have little choice. Come, Kimiko. Let's hurry to where we last saw Forum. Probably pronouncing her name all kinds of her. messed up, but I don't know what it actually is. Cloudy, right now, right now.
Let's do this. Where is she? We must ha find her before the hunter does. It is good to see you again, warrior of light. It would seem that we two Azir Dragoons are one target, though I suppose neither of us still hold that mantle. Old habits do not die so easily. Now, Azir Dragoon of Isgard. And who exactly is your dim, dim, uh, demimutive friend here, Kimiko? A journey to the Far East in search for the ancient worm's cord sword? Quite, quite a tale indeed. At the end of my own journey, I chose to continue my travels and eventually found myself in the Far East. It was here the word of the dragon you seek reached my knees. I had keen, uh, been in intention to act as a intermediary between man and dragon, assuming the beast could be reasoned with. If not, I was prepared to banquet, uh, brandish my lance. Regardless, I would wager that the young one has the right of it. What is more, she is doubtlessly, doubtless still suffer from the effects of Nidhogg's hateful dredge and summons that summon the horde the dread worm holds hold over her is uh, his brood was absolute his unquenchable thirst for vengeance spread through the horde leaving none untouched to think one of them was able to resist his call to uh, discri uh, dis discriminate that's a mate is guard. Oh my god. My <laughs> it should uh, it should come to no surprise that she would succumb to madness. The worm spent a millennia in solitude resisting Nidhogg's demands for vengeance. I could think I can think of but one way she may have saved. We weakened her enough that she is willing to listen to reason. We have already tried to approach it, did not work last time, and I very much doubt repeating it will change anything. I do not advocate the same approach, little one. I would have you do more than simply talk to her. Nay, you shall use your war. That is the only way you can hope to let her know that the war is ended and her concert awaits her in the skies above. My war? You have the two dragoons that best Nidhogg at your side. There is not to fear. All you need to do is harness your roar to clear the haze that clouds the worm's eyes. I shall do my best. Should I fail again, I fear that I may not be blessed with another chance. Pray lend me your strength as your dragoons. Let us depart. The frenzied dragoon dragon awaits us on Bardon's mantle. The time is nigh to free her from war's tragedy. Anstinian. What a boss. Anstinian's one of my faves. One more five. Get it. Get it, old boyo.
will not happen. shouldn't have did that. I shouldn't have listened to Astinian. He's just like, use an elusive jump. Okay. I, I did it. I just kept on using that powerful whatever the hell that was. Skip. Alright. Part 2. Take 2. Action. <laughs> Shit. Alright. Go back to the little tiny dragon to save yourself. Or in Kai.
Alright. Don Duty. With me! Now, little one, roar with all your being. Farum, um, hear my cry! Why? Why must we go to war? I have no ill will, no desire to fight. I have only science, silence. I must... A most deafening silence. There's no use. I cannot reach her. Do not... Be so quick to abandon hope, my son. Oh, him! I have, I am come here, come to the dearest for for I don't even know if I can say her name <laughs> properly. Those wings of light, long have I, have they filled my dreams, filled over my love. Father. Noble dragoons, Oren Kai, I give you my thanks. Were it not for your succor, I would not have been reunited with my beloved. Allow me to thank you as well. I had truly thought Vildemir lost to me. Mere words will scarce be enough to convince convoy mine upper upper appearance uh, applications. <laughs> when the conflict began 1,000 years past, Nidhogg demanded we exact revengeance upon man. However, I refused to allow his hatreds to take root within me. I could not bring myself to forget the days when I soared with Azur, uh, the Azirian skies with the Veldemir's night on back a dragon cannot simply shut her eyes to her sire's call to do so would cause her great torment thus i bid for him flee to the east and she might live in peace until the final strains of the dragon song war did fade to the uh, to an end duty bound to protect zenith i remain behind in Dervania, but ever did I regret not f following my heart and my beloved. Twas after she left for Eastern lands that to thou didst come unto this world, my son. Now I finally see why I was given a name meaning one born of sadness. Alas, I fear I will never be your match, father. From fairy, I barely even noticed my roar. Be little not your efforts, Oren Kai. I should not have known to come here. I, I should not have known to come here there. Were it not for your die war, I it reached mine ears, strong and clear as I soared the skies above. Father. <laughs> well, I suppose you are quite keen to talk with Thermium. It's been quite some time since you last met, after all. 
Let us make haste. I am not used to seeing my father so am amused, happy. Never. I gotta learn those words. Learn those words. I give both of you my sincerest thanks. I find myself expressly indebted to you, Kimiko. Our adventures in investigating these legends shall long live long in my memory. And you, as your dragoon, your strength far exceeds the tales I have heard. Your words are appreciated, but the application uh, is unnecessary. I have long since left that life behind. My past experience with Nidhogg made me eager to see Faramir saved. When the Dreadworm took me as his vessel, I felt his mad heart public publication as my own, mine own. There are, was no end to the sadness and distress that followed from his soul. Ho however, it was this ideal that allowed me to harness the dragon within. West retaining my sense to of myself. You ought to be capable of the same by now, Kimiko. I shall doubtless serve you well in battles to come. If you are truly done with our little title, your old title, then I have a proposal for a new one. The Crimson Dragoon. Much more befitting now that the two of you fought alongside dragons, harnessing their strength as your own. Haha, <laughs> I can see myself warming up to the new game. The best of luck to you, Horonkai. I expect to you to be as strong as your father. The next time Zarpath's do cross Warrior of Light, I look forward to the day when we are able to fight side by side once more. Keep well. You shall have nothing to worry about. I will become just as capable as father, so that I may someday soar the skies with a dragoon like you on my back. Thank you once again for everything, Kimiko. It is time for me to begin the journey home for the father and Furium, but know that I will ever be in your debt. I sincerely hope that this is not the last of our adventures. That ends and concludes the, this portion of Stormblood's Dragoon. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Wait, wait, actually, never mind. Wait, I'm going to unlock the armor and do a little practice run. portion okay let's go to the lower decks
like it, so I'm just gonna cast Glimmer on everything. Dang it. I need... Yeah, 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 no. It's cheaper. I'm just gonna look at what the weapon looks like first. So, try on. Put some clothes on, girl. Ooh, I like the way that looks too. Yeah, yeah. Advisor. Oh, it doesn't move. That's the Prasag. But understandable, yeah. <laughs> so sick though. All right, let's put our. Uh, a rotation to a test. Oh, what is this?
Okay. That sucks. Kind of it. Then you can't stay in that form forever. The eyes are woken. That's the slave does when I have the when I do the dragon slave. Got it. concludes the story of the dragoon and the testing of the rotations. I'll catch you fucking inches later. Peace and stay funky.